was just like something really random happened and it was like the accidents really happened. I did a lot of work pushing it aside. Not like pushing it aside to where I don't feel it or I don't remember it, but like not visualizing it because I would have moments where I would be like um, seeing, seeing it. Like it would flash my baby in the water. Like I would see flashes of my baby laying on the ground with blue, blue and lifeless and pale. And I had to really work hard on um, like changing the way I saw things because that was like a nightmare. It was a reoccurring nightmare and I would have like PTSD. So I had to start, my aunt told me, um, she had told me one time, she was like, I told her, I said, I'm having reoccurring like these like visions of it over and over and it would haunt me. And she was like, well, when you see true in that water, you gotta see God holding him up. And so whenever I, sorry, I keep breaking out, but every time I think of it, which I'm past it now, like, cause I feel like I'm in a good place. But every time I did have those like visions, I would think of God, like God was holding my baby up. The, his angels were protecting him and keeping him afloat. And even when he was laying there and I was giving him breath, I'm thinking Yahweh. Yahweh is Jesus, God's breath. And I remember just every time I'm breathing, I'm like, God breathe your breath into my son. So that's how I kind of got over that PTSD, which, you know. What's crazy, like what's crazy about this is I'm finding out, like us talking about it right now, I'm finding like out stuff about your perspective that I didn't know. And I'm sure like, you know, you finding out stuff about me because like I said, I really like commend you on how, like that really, it really just will always be something that I hold dear to my heart, like, or just I look at you so different now. I think that it really made me have a lot more like respect and love for you because I didn't expect that you would come in that room and be that way or even throughout the whole process be so strong and supportive of it. I I was judging myself and judging and I'm you know I'm an overthinker so I was thinking like you know if it was Bishop I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad at him if he hated me. So I I mean I'm I'm glad that you know you handled the situation so gracefully. I feel like it's crazy like right now hearing like the story from our your perspective and my perspective now because I feel like I didn't know a lot of stuff about what you were feeling in those times in that day and you may probably have feel the same about me like you probably didn't know everything because I feel like we had to like push some stuff back because at that present moment it was about what we were dealing with in that moment mm -hmm. more than what we felt reversing the roles, that's what really made me, like when I was telling you why I didn't like anything can happen, uh, like accidents really do happen. Like, but I had to think about that. Like I said, you know, in the moment you kind of, I still didn't like lash it out. But like, when I really did put myself in her shoes, seeing the life was about, even though I didn't see it, but I'm just saying like having to go through that. life was body, like turning my back and my son could do anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just anything can happen. Like, it's just like, so I really thought about that. Like I had to think about that to myself. And cause I, cause I know how true can be, man. He's just like, you could be turning your back this way and he'll be 60 that. yards down the field. Like, you know, that's just how it, I say down the field. But like, I'm looking at the camera, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying though? Like he literally be moving that fast. Like you could literally go get a clothes. You could go get some clothes out the drawer and he'll be, you know, I don't know, he'll be doing something like, man, so it's just like, man, that little dude right there, man, he's special though, for sure. There was a time in the process when we finally made it through, like, the first initial, like, ER, the accident, like, that major first step where I was, like, trying to understand, because I was so, I had so much guilt, like, um, I don't know if it's mother's guilt, 
or I just felt I blamed myself for everything. So I was taking a lot of, I was internalizing a lot of feelings because I felt to blame. I felt responsible for every part of it, even though it was an accident. I didn't look at it like that. I was like, this is my baby, I'm the mama. Like I just put a lot on myself. So I remember asking, I had to sit down and like talk to him about it. And I wanted to know like how he truly felt. Cause like I was feeling how I felt and I know he felt how he felt. So I just remember sitting down with him and like, okay, like lay it on me. How do you truly feel? And he was like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm hurt. Like, it hurts. I do wish that he would have been, like, right next to you, like you said, because he's like, you know how true can be. We both know how true can be. So, but he was like, I still didn't have to go through what you went through. And I know accidents happen. So I respected him for that, too, because I, I wanted him to be honest with me because I felt like, it was bugging me for or something because I wanted to know how he felt, but I also didn't want him to like, I don't know. It's just like every way he handled it, I feel like it was the way I, it needed to be handled and I needed to know like his honest. The, the and honest, then, like you know? I say, the way it happened, I don't think she uh like kind of like explained. I don't know if you did or not about the gate. They were outside the gate. She nearly never told y'all how, how they got yeah, in. Yeah, I didn't get to tell y'all. They went around like so it's like a whole big old gate around the pool they went around the whole pool and went in through the other because they wasn't in the pool area at first the kids so you know if you working they went around the other side while everybody working went through the gate playing in the sand and that's what happened so you got your back turned they're not even in the pool area and let me tell you and they go around on their own being kids you know this what gets me we never heard a splash we never heard any type of situation with water, like nothing. So that's why even in the beginning, we were looking for him. Yeah, we didn't even think to right look now. in the water. Yeah. Because we never heard. And see, this was the most insane part. The pool wasn't ready to swim in yet. Ooh. We was getting it ready because this is a new house. Like we getting everything ready. So the pool wasn't ready to swim in yet. That, so, re that reminds me, I went to the pool store that day and I bought this. It's called algaecide. It's a chemical. And it only takes like a little bit to clean the whole pool. And I remember I went to get it that day and we didn't. I don't remember why we didn't put it in. But that's another thing I feel like God prevented. Because if we would have put that chemical in the pool too, shh, will we be here? Oh yeah, then that's why I said, let me, that's why I got to keep putting back. Big shout out to Gigi. You know, for thinking, like I say, because we we'll go back to reverses role. Me personally, two things. One, if I'm by myself, I don't do CPR. 100%. I just know for a fact, I'm going to just, what the? Oh, you saying you were sad. Like, I wouldn't have did CPR. Like, I would have called, like, yo, come on. Da, 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 da. Yeah. CPR, I wouldn't like. Am I, would I have known if I'm in a situation? But I'm saying like, I just feel like in my heart, I'm like, I don't think I would have did. Now I'm like, now if something happened, of course I'm, a, you know. But I don't think in that situation, like I said, that's why I want to give a big shout out to my mama too and the creator because also <laughs> I don't see how the pool is is pretty deep like i said we can get deep the pool pretty deep so i don't understand no we like, can be real specific no nah, i'm gonna be deep on the video it is what it is it's 10 foot 10 feet on one side so how do you go three feet on however one. far you went in to floating up at the top and we still don't know how you know, I don't know why we the doctors and we both like the doctors and us both don't know how long he was in the water that's just being honest we don't know how long he was in the water so at the at the ER, they came in and finally eventually told us like True was doing good. He was taking spontaneous breaths on his own and that he was a strong and he was a fighter. But they let us know that this is only the beginning and we were gonna be in the situation for the long haul. And I just kept thinking like, why do they keep saying? I didn't know what that meant, but 
we we were sure soon enough about to find out. Yeah. So they um they got him back. Yeah. You know, they got him back um back. What is the word? Stable. Stable. They got him back stable and then they sent us off to St. Francis Children's Hospital. So when we got there, um they were telling us, you know, the biggest thing right now is we're checking for brain injury and within the next 3 days your son could possibly have brain swelling or possibly be brain dead. So breathe for him. Mm -hmm. So he's technically on a ventilator right yeah. now. Yeah. We've given him some medicine to help with sedate him to make him comfortable. Right. Um, we are in the process of trying to get things situated. Okay. We already have acceptance over it. We're going to try to get him over there as soon as possible. Right. Um, as soon as possible. Is that tonight? Is that tomorrow? Oh, yes. Tonight. Okay. Tonight. Okay. Hopefully with within the next hour of okay. leaving here. Mm -hmm. Right. Based off of his blood. So we tested his blood when he got here to see what things look like, right? But also when your heart's not beating, um, your cells aren't getting tissue, okay? And that can make your blood pretty acidic as well. So, so his mean? blood, it looks like his down, like he was, had been down for a decent amount of time without a heartbeat and without adequate oxygen, okay? So based off of that, we're making improvement based off, we've already repeated our blood gas to look to see make sure he's making improvement but right now he is has a heartbeat he's trying to make effort his pupils are reactive he was moving his toes so those are all good things right but we're not quite out of the woods yet okay so only time will tell how things go from here okay so um as soon as we get everything kind of situated in the room, we'll let you guys come back if you want to. Um, if you don't want to, that's okay. We understand. Um, we will need someone to go with him for transport, most likely. Um, so you guys can kind of talk about that and decide, you know, how, who, who that will be. Um, but as soon as we can get someone here to take him there, we will do that, okay? Do you guys have any questions for me? I know that's a lot of information. I'm sorry. We also contacted the chaplain if you guys would like his services. Well, I'm just trying to understand, like, what does it mean by recovering? Like, he said he was, like, alive, but he's not breathing on his own. So he's trying to breathe some on his own, which is a good sign. But he's not adequately breathing on his own. No. So what that means... Um, as far as recovery, it's hard to say at this point. So the biggest thing right now, and the hardest thing for you guys is gonna be giving him time. So it's a waiting game, mm -hmm. which is terrible. And I know that sucks. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be all right. That's right, and we're gonna pray up until that time. That's I that's what we're gonna do, right? Right, I believe it. I'm gonna to have to stand, stand on it like yeah. that. I don't care about, I, I appreciate science and everything else that y'all do and I appreciate that and I feel like it's amazing like I wouldn't be able to do it without y'all but I gotta stand on sure. speaking it into existence affirming sure. believing for my son so I believe that he's gonna be 100% in, in recovery time however long that takes a little while like 24 you know? 48 hours till we know more information mm -hmm. okay so tonight don't expect to know a whole lot more mm -hmm. they're gonna run more tests when he gets over there mm -hmm. they'll probably repeat some of the things that we've already done mm -hmm. um they'll give you some updates but don't expect to know a whole lot tonight okay will you stay so, with him tonight or what, what's gonna happen uh, yeah they'll let you stay later yeah. 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 thank you god lead lord oh, so, father we give you praise and we thank you, Father, for the next few hours, Lord, the next few Thank you, uh, God. Day. Hallelujah. We pray thank for you, strength God. for each family member that's thank here. Jesus. Father, we just give you praise. We pray for clear mind. Thank uh, you, Lord. God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit speaking to us, guiding and directing us. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. 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 Did he have bruising on his... I don't know. 
from the from the CPR, okay, so but not breaking anything. Okay, good. Is that like how we'll look at on on this? Okay. We appreciate you guys. Be right back. I'm going to get some swabs. Clean his mouth out, okay? Mm. Just like, and just disbelief, ah, like. Bro, really crazy. Like, you know what I mean? But I'm just giving, um, like you say, the creator all the thanks and the praise, you know what I mean? Because uh, it could have been different. Like, it uh, could have been way different right now. Like I say, True, True is a fighter. He, uh, you know, he uh, got his pulse. Uh, he, he's breathing on his own a little bit. They said that he had to... Uh, that they have to breathe for him. Um, bro, I literally was crying 30 minutes on the way to the hospital. Just like, damn. Like, I was streaming a lot, so I was, like, kind of away from, like, my little boys. But then, like, soon as I get my days, like, I'm just chilling and I'm just giving it all to them, bro. Like, something like this happened. It's just crazy, bro. It's just I... It's just like mind blowing, bro. That's something like anything can happen at any moment, bro. And I've been saying this over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's why I tell y'all so much to just like lock in on y'all dreams, bro. Lock in on what you're doing, bro. And actually just, bro, take advantage of it, bro. Like my son is literally in there fighting for his life right now, bro. Literally. Like y'all don't know what he went through. I don't even know what he went through, bro. Like, literally flatline today, bro. Like, I am in disbelief. Like, I don't feel real right now, bro. Like, this shit crazy. Like, like you know, people was asking me, was I all right, all right? I was like, but I'm a, like a late reactor, bro. So I'm like, man, I don't know. But, like, I'm feeling it now. Like, I can't sleep, bro. I'm literally up right now. Just to see him like that, bro, like, he's so outgoing. Like, he be moving, like, jittery and, like, literally survive. Like, you know what I mean? He got his post right now, so I'm speaking it to advance. Like, I prayed in advance. I told, like, the creator, I'm like, man, I know you you did it for my pops. My pops had a stroke two years ago, like, two years ago. He was, he flatlined. I told, I asked God for a miracle. He made it happen. Same here. Thank them in advance. I know you got it. I know you got me. Even though it's tough because you was going through it. But at the end of the day, like I say, I'm still like, you know, putting my faith first in the Lord. You know what I mean? That's priority. That's 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 the king, the almighty, the most high. You know what I mean? You never can forget that. And that's what I feel like. That's what this moment is. It's just like um, giving the praises and the thanks to him uh, because he does the supernatural. He does, you know. Uh, the creator does the most, like you say, the supernatural. So, like I say, man, I'm just thankful. Like I say, I was I was hot earlier. Like I say, but if my son is in there fighting, I'm fighting with him, positive, giving my good energy, like I always give, and that's what I'm gonna do forever. I mean, God is so amazing. That's first and foremost. The creator is so amazing, and I'm speaking on that so highly because that's hey, that's what I'm about. That's what I've been about, and I'm going to keep putting it in the forefront. If that's what I got to do, the creator is number one priority. I'm going to fuck with nobody else saying, I don't care who you talking to. The Savior is number one on me over all the bullshit. I don't care what it is. Number one. Y'all better believe it. Man, bro, this is some real talk out here, bro. I'm, like, locked in right now, bro. This shit is so crazy. I don't even feel real, bro.